we got to talk about commercials. Um, they, uh, there's a commercial that was just voted on the Internet via a popular site recently. Uh, this is produced in St. Joseph, Missouri, pr- promoting a back-to-school shopping as um, back-to-school shopping at their local mall. They voted it as the worst in history. And I think that judgment was, uh, was probably harsh because uh, it's not the worst commercial I've ever heard. And I just, I just really kind of feel that uh, um, that was a little unfair. So I'm going to, you know what, we're going to play the commercial and let you decide for yourself. Is this the worst commercial in history? It's him, we're back to school. Denim, haircut, backpacks, backpacks, come get your backpack. Boots and pants and boots and pants. New shoes, get yourself an outfit. Denim. All right, so you get the idea. People coming up to a microphone and holding up various articles of apparel that they bought and singing about it. Okay, it's like, yeah, it's a little bit like fingernails cross chalkboard. Not the worst. I'm going to tell you what the worst is. And uh, this is when I stopped watching television. This was like late 60s or early 70s. And um, I'm watching TV, and there's a woman that comes on the screen. A little a daughter approaches her mother, teen daughter, and she says, she's got both hands behind her back. And she says, uh, Mom. Guess which hand is holding the newest idea in disposable douches? I stopped watching television on that day. Now, it's not like I've got, you know, it's just, it's, it's, you know, there's just something not right about advertising those kinds of products on television. That was the worst I personally had seen. Uh, uh, And um, I sort of started getting nostalgic for this this kind of thing. And and I went and looked on YouTube, because you know what? It's amazing what you can find on YouTube. So let's let's hear... A great nostalgic commercial from the 60s, late 70s, maybe, or early 70s, maybe, for a similar product. And this is, again, this is one of the reasons why I stopped watching, uh, I stopped watching television. So here's a commercial, um, probably the second worst commercial I've ever heard in my life. And I remember this one, even though I must have caught it somehow. So here we go. We're just going to play it. In fact, um, yeah, we're going to play the whole thing. Mom? Hmm? I've got to ask you something real personal. Mm-hmm. So right away, I think I know what's coming. Okay, there's the, a young daughter and her mom walking on the beach. Mom, I got I to gotta ask you something very personal. And, you know, you're hoping she's, she's not really going to ask what I think she is. Is she? Do you douche? I sure do. But I'm in with Massimville vinegar and water. Why Massimville vinegar and water? Why That's what my doctor recommends. For a naturally fresh feeling, only Massingill has two vinegar and water douches. Pure, extra mild, and extra cleansing when you need it. You'll see how clean and fresh Massingill makes you feel. Uh, Massingill, trusted by more women than any other brand. Did I have to hear that? Oh my goodness! You know, and it's, it's like, okay, it's not the worst. It's not the worst in the world. But, uh, you know, we went for a long time without ever having to hear feminine hygiene about feminine hygiene products on television they had already canceled um star trek at this point so i I stopped watching you know i really did it's like okay but that's not the worst i think this following one is probably going to be the worst and we'll just you know what we're gonna i'm just gonna play it i'm gonna throw caution to the wind i'm gonna play it here we go musk just a hint of it musk so alluring musk now there's just a touch of it in new summer's eve hint of musk the only disposable douche that's delicately floral with a light touch of musk. Only Summer's Eve has this one-piece flexible design for maximum comfort Ah, and a gentle cleansing formula that refreshes Ah. as it cleans. A roaring musk for the first time in new Summer's Eve hint of musk. It refreshes as it cleans. I'm just saying, doesn't belong on television. Does not belong on television. I'm just saying. Uh, You know... Call me squeamish. I love, I love, believe me, I, I love women, love everything about them, but that's not how I want to think of them, okay? And it's like, no, I don't want these images in my mind. They don't belong there. This product does not belong on television. Sorry, it just doesn't. I stopped watching. This was like early 70s. And I quit. I quit altogether. I just stopped watching television. I will say, though, that men have kind of gotten their revenge with all these ED commercials that we make women sit through now so they can hear all about our problems. And, uh, and I think that's only fitting. I think, I think Paulina's sitting over here. Pa- Paulina, do you think that's fitting, that you should have to sit through that now that I have to sit? You don't think that's fitting? You don't think they should be on there at all? You know, I don't either. This is what TV has done to us. You know, it's no longer safe to watch it. And people don't understand why people, you know, they try to get rid of commercials. And 
and they don't want to they don't want to play them on their VCRs anymore or their little recording devices. They skip past them. Why? Because of crap like this. Okay. I'm done ranting about that subject. We will talk about things that are a little bit more serious uh, after the news on uh, The Blaze.